Hello, my name is Liz Kelly, and I'm the author of May Crowning, Mass, and Merton, and other reasons I love being Catholic. Today I want to talk about our posture in prayer, specifically kneeling. Our prayer posture has the potential to unite body, mind, and spirit, making our prayer experience more meaningful, not for God, but for us. And this is one of the reasons I love kneelers. I once heard that camels are great practitioners of surrender because they start and end each day on their knees. We could learn something from the great dromedary. And perhaps if I were more humble, less self-involved, then maybe I wouldn't need to be reminded to surrender. And maybe I wouldn't need to kneel in church or elsewhere to show my respect and reverence. But I do. God wants the whole person. Whether in church or at the side of the bed in the morning, kneeling is one small way we can say, Here, Father, take all of me. Even my body longs to serve you. And when we're not so anxious to love and serve God, kneeling can be a reminder to us of who we are and who God is. Sometimes by first disciplining our body, our heart and mind follows. We kneel for many reasons, to plead for mercy or for help, to focus our energy on something greater than ourselves, to show respect, to appropriately lower ourselves before the Almighty. We think it's adorable when a man proposes to a woman on bended knee, but to show such devotion to God is becoming passé. We want God to be our buddy. And make no mistake, God is deeply devoted to friendship with us. But God is also our creator, and that requires respect. Kneeling is an outward expression of our need for God. As a culture, we seem to be in a desperate race to rid ourselves of this need for something greater than ourselves. And if that's not an act of arrogance, it is at least an act absent of humility. What I have come to believe is that our need for God does not make us weak. It makes us fully human. There's great power in recognizing the difference. The spiritual posture of one's heart is greatly reflected in the physical posture of one's body. If there are times when I can kneel before my Creator, Ecclesiastes assures me that there are times when I will dance before Him as well. In this day of war, terror, deprivation, selfishness, cruelty, matchless horror, surely there is cause to kneel. The sorrows and fears of our world bring into sharp relief our great disdain for one another and for life. Maybe it is too great a leap to suggest so, but I believe that the crusty old kneeler in our struggling church just may be the tool we need to help us find our way back to holiness and virtue. Yes, I believe this simple gesture of kneeling sends an endless ripple of love and respect out into the world in such a way that it may change the very face of it. Bring your heart, mind, and body before the Almighty as an offering, and then see what He will accomplish with you and your kneeling spirit. My name is Liz Kelly, and kneelers are one more reason I love being Catholic.